The crew prepares their boat, have faith for a day at sea. The motor is old and often does not work, but the fishermen cannot afford a new one. They pass a boat that is taken on water and is sinking. Local fishermen say their work is dangerous. They compete for catches with trawlers and other industrial boats from Europe, Asia and wealthier nations around the world. They say in recent years they are catching fewer and fewer fish and are having to travel further out to sea to find them. Soriba Kamara is the owner of this boat. We are not catching as many fish anymore, and in a small boat like this, we cannot go long distances, so our areas need to be protected. Pirate fishing boats or unlicensed boats are also a problem. Government officials say pirate boats often fish in areas designated for local fishermen and crash into the smaller local boats, leaving the fishermen for dead. Officials say the government does not have the money for surveillance to catch pirate boats and to make sure large boats stay in their designated areas. As the boats near the shore, sellers approach to bid for the day's catch. Fish meant for local consumption are plopped on the beach, while those destined for export are loaded into refrigerated trucks. Traditional fishing provides tens of thousands of jobs in Guinea and is a major source of food for the country. Kamara says he worries that if Guinea's waters are not better regulated, areas close enough for local fishermen will one day be depleted, and Guinea's local fishing industry will dry up. Perry Barber, VOA News, Conakry.